By now you may have heard about Jordan, uh, Jordan Creel, the sophomore at Alabama Christian Academy, who played an amazing game last week, one day after surviving a house fire that killed his mother. Tonight, for the first time, we hear from Jordan Creel. Jordan did not decide to make the trip to Daleville until Friday afternoon, 30 minutes before the Eagles bus was leaving. I hadn't really gave it much thought that day, and I said, hey, uh, Mima, which is my grandmother, <laughs> Talked to me, Mom and Papa, about it, and I said, "Look, I, I really want to play. It's it's going to be two hours of relief for me, and you know, I I did what she thought, what I thought she would want me to do, and it it turned out great, man. I, I'm glad I did it." By the time the game was over, Jordan had carried the ball 29 times for 232 yards and two touchdowns. He also played defense, making nine tackles in the Eagles' 24-21 upset of Daleville. We had an extra player that night. And uh, that was Miss Karen. I mean, uh, those kids fought for him that night and fought for her. I mean, it's obvious in everything we did. I mean, uh, we had we, we cheated. We had we had 12 on the field Friday night. There's no doubt. It's it's really difficult, but I mean, it's been stressful trying to keep my mind off of her. And I, I tried to beat myself up for a few days, but <laughs> I noticed I got all the love in the world right here at the school and at my church family and my my family at home and. I can't be mad about it. I know she's happy up where she is. That's, that's the main thing. That's a remarkable young man. Jordan's living with his grandparents in Montgomery. He still has two more seasons at Alabama Christian and hopes to play college football. And I told him today, if he keeps having 230-yard games, he'll be playing on Saturdays for sure. I love Greg Baker's line about having 12 men on the that's field. Right. That's great.